Bass. Yep. Another one. I will be testing the fish pick today. It's a glass rod, very very cheap one, $15. I paired it with a silver feather because why not? And I have sort of a rattle trap over there uh, that I will for sure lose on the next, I don't know, 60 seconds. So let's give it a <laughs> break zone zero. Let's put the break zone four. Right. Yeah. And this is what happens when you have a band on your braid tool leader knot. But it will straighten it out. Let's try again. You see? Yeah. There was a small bass coming after my rattle trap. Just out of curiosity probably, or trying to see itself in a mirror because it's a reflective rattle trap. I don't know if the camera can show, but there's a bass over there. Yeah, it could show a bass over there if you didn't blow all your budget on tackle gear instead yeah. of the polarized lens for the camera. I think if I can go with a smaller presentation I can get either the bass Or some bluegill. Either way, even though I will not feature until I catch fish with it, this rattle trap works very well. It shims and vibrates along the water in a nice pattern. Even you can see on the camera. It Let's try to swap it. So I just swap it for a one gram jig head plus a Super Continent 35 millimeter Tanta, and again, even with lower weights like one gram, maybe a one. 0.2 grams with a Tanta. Amazing, amazing castability of this rod. It loads very well, it's very predictable. I find it, I know I, I'm using the silver feather, but I find it easier to use than the spinning version of this blank because I had it and it's just a blast. But in here I'm trying to entice a sunfish and that's why I'm so quiet because I'm focusing. Working that Tanta on the bottom. Yes. Finally. And you think it's easy to catch sunfish? In here, not so easy if you're using artificial lures. One, they get off by the sand. Two, they are pro nibblers. So they will nibble, nibble, nibble and will never commit and let you get a nice hook set on them. So I'm always happy when I catch sunfish because they are... No, perca. Perca. Yeah, by the way, it's my father asking what I catched and he was skanking, so I was a bit pride of this moment, this skanking. We are, I think, after two hours of trying other methods, I resume to low low VFS, eh, sending a picture to someone that is working just to annoy them or maybe sleeping, I don't know. Confusing hours. So just took a cool picture to send to Yep Fishing just for him to see what I'm catching. Very, very hot today. Yesterday we hit 40 something. Today it will be a little bit less, but still very, very, very hot. Unfortunately, I forgot my polarized glasses. So even though I could be sight fishing. Because this Tanta is very hard to see against the bottom. Man, this reel. That jig head is one gram. Oh. I think something was hitting it. Mm. 
Ma. Snagging on grass. It's very very hard to hook a fish on this on this blank on the single hooks I I had a hard time doing it on the spinning version but man this rod is fun and now that you can get the Aurora Air for cheap that it's some sort of a ballpark of the performance of the silver feather you can have a blast for I know $45 $50 ah man that guy was nibbling hard there's a bus over there I will try to put my plastic I don't think he wants something that small Ooh. and yep another one nice man I come in here G, 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 G unit stop thinking I was be catching the bigger ones the ones the the shad the sea shad that are migrating through this river and I thought why not put this rod I just spooled new line the LSP thunder shock on the on the pure lure silver feather why not put it on this cheap glass rod good thing I put it in the car because the shed is nowhere to be found if they could be here usually we fish them on the low tide because they are more packed on that area but i was fishing with the jig didn't see anything didn't feel anything and i just swapped rods for this one already got two sunfish so nice and it's so fun and easy to use as I told you I think before on the channel you have to do with what you have so always pack an ultralight with you or a VFS combo because there is always fish lurking microscopic fish but fish nevertheless also crap lurking man so much fun I, I want to catch I wonder what happened if I swap the tanta for a more visible crawl because there are crawdads in here big ones and I already saw small bass and they have crossed there let's see if swapping the plastic will help me catch more things see in a bit so i just swapped for the supercontinent crazy crawl the 40 millimeter version i have it paired with a size 6 ewg hook and a 2 gram shell weight also from supercontinente and yes a bass small bass Either way, a bass. Oops. You're on the water. You're on the, the water. Yes. Finally. 
was able to cut the best of the glass rod. You've been fooled. So, two sunfish, one bass. Not a bad day. So, sorry for the weird cuts on the video. It was so hot that the camera was still overheating, even though this is a DJI, it's not a toaster from GoPro. Either way, I was having a blast after skunking for the first two hours with heavier casting gear and some metal jigs going after the sea shed. And now I'm just going after bass. And I'm so quiet because I'm side fishing and I'm trying to work my soft plastic right in front of the bass. Yep, another one. Another one gets bamboozled. So now it was my mistake, Very I ran charged. out of battery right before I released the fish, but it was safely released, don't don't be, be scared about it. And now you can see my old man and I think my father-in-law is still it. on the picture, a little bit further away. And you see him going with a long ass rod, still skunking, but you cannot be like the master. Either way, I was having a blast and I will give you a quick resume of what I think of this rod. One, it's a lot better to fish with this rod in the casting version than the spinning. Uh, cannot put really the finger why, I just like it more. Um, I had a lot more of a hard time setting the hook and hooking fish with single hooks on the spinning version and even the blank seems to be managing the same size fish a uh, lot better I don't know if this is just some sort of um, improved blank I don't think so because it's from a different brand it came better packed uh, the epoxy work is better, but I don't think the blank components are different. Either way, I think I'll be catching the bass right now. Yep. Another one. And it got away. Oh, and it's gone. Nice. And one thing I want to try for sure, it's the Aurora Air with the ceramic bearings on this rod. And I will be testing it for sure. I already have it all assembled. I just need time on the water. But until then, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.